The boat that's right behind you is a Pursuit ST310. It is a big So you can do straight down dives. The roominess of these boats, they're very well thought out. Check this out! <laughs> this is called Flyboard! Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be down at Flibs, the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show right here in sunny South Florida, and I am having the time of my life. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of wandering around, I'm looking for some incredible new information to report on for us boaters up in the Great Lakes, and as I was sitting here in my booth, I had two gentlemen stop by with Blue Gas Marine. I'm here with Tim. How are you, Tim? Doing great. Thanks. Good, good, good. And Chris, Chris, how are you, my man? Hey, good, Eric. How's it going? Good, good, good. You guys are telling me about an incredible new product that you have. Chris, let's start off with you. What is Blue Gas Marine? What do you guys do? Okay, Blue Gas Marine enables the marine industry to use affordable, clean, natural gas as an alternative fuel source mm -hmm. in addition to gasoline on the same vessel using the same engine. Really? So, Tim, this is kind of like a, a hybrid of sorts it for is. gas engines. One thing that, that, that we found down here is people mix propane and natural gas. They always keep saying propane. It's a totally different fuel. Okay. Propane is something you might use in your barbecue grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's very explosive. Yes. Natural gas is not. Okay. It's a very, it's actually burns cleaner, it's lighter, because it's lighter than air. Yeah. Natural gas is, propane is heavier than air, just like gasoline fumes are heavier than air. It can go down and, and if you have any kind of a leak at all, it will set down your bilge and it's like a, a floating bomb. Yeah. Natural gas, if there's any kind of a leak, it's up in the atmosphere, it's out of there. Okay. And natural gas has a very close burning factors, the, the oxygen level or air, and the natural gas level is, has got to be almost perfect to be able to burn. Yeah. If it's too rich uh, or too lean, it won't even burn. Oh, okay. It's got a very tight, uh, we're propane and gasoline may be out here. We're here as far as the conditions that it will burn. So okay. it's very safe fuel very safe. in a yeah. nutshell. Well, that's fantastic to learn. Now, does do you have to have a specially fitted boat in order to be able to do this, or you can you run this on any marine engine that's out there now? So we're coming out uh, with our uh, ability to use um, natural gas burning on outboard gasoline or inboard gasoline engines. Okay. Uh, we have we have the ability today to convert Yamaha engines mm -hmm. uh, and Mercury. Okay. Uh, our boat here, the first boat in the world introduced at Flibs mm -hmm. is a 32-foot Intrepid equipped with twin 300 Mercury Verados that are equipped with our fuel system in addition to the onboard gasoline system. Well, let me ask you something, Tim. Is this just simply going to reduce the amount of gas that I'm currently using in my boat? Is that the whole idea? No, the idea is natural gas is a lot cheaper yeah. than gasoline is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in some cases, you could get by, if, if we can even rig it up that if you have natural gas coming to your home, and if you trailer your boat, yeah. we can set a pump right at your home, and you're getting the cost of natural gas uh, it's a residential, which yeah. is a regulated, controlled price. Right, right, and right. You could get, you could buy gas as lo as as low as uh, maybe a dollar fifteen a gallon up to a dollar fifty a gallon, equivalent to gasoline. Am I going to be able to get Chris the same amount of mileage out of the natural gas that I would out of the regular gas? Yes, Eric. There is no performance loss. Mm -hmm. In fact, with the supercharged Mercuries, we're anticipating a performance increase. Okay. And there's an efficiency increase of between five and twelve percent. So you go further, five to twelve percent further on the same gallon of gas equivalent. And as Tim mentioned, we're looking at a nominal dollar fifty mm -hmm. per gallon of gas mm -hmm. equivalent. So cut your fuel spend by a third. That's incredible. It's safer for the environment, it's more affordable, and it sounds like it's going to be a lot cleaner on my engines than having to burn the carbon. Very much so. It's uh, Right now we're showing at least 70% lower emissions mm -hmm. than gasoline. Mm -hmm. And uh, besides that, when the engine is running, 
even with a four-stroke outboard engine, you can smell fumes if you're trolling, if yeah. it's blowing back on, you can yeah. still smell yeah. the exhaust. Yeah, yeah. People can still get sick yeah. from seasickness. You can't even smell our engine money. One There's thing no that, odor from it. One thing I've always noticed about outboards, and a lot of us boaters up in the Great Lakes use outboards, sometimes they're really loud. Now, am I going to see a substantial noise difference in these kind? Chris, why don't you answer this? Is yeah. it, or is it going to be less or about There's the same? actually a decibel uh, noise reduction when you convert to natural gas. Okay. And by the way, our controls allow you to switch from gasoline to natural gas by the press of a button without turning the engines off or reducing the RPMs. Really? You could be doing 60 miles an hour and push that button and you will not even feel the change. Yeah. The only way you're going to know that you change fuel is you look down and you say, okay, I'm on on natural gas now. You guys, this technology is absolutely incredible. I want you to tell me a little bit about what it's going to cost me to do that, because I know technology always costs. Yeah, that's right. And if I'm going to put this into, like our friends over at Intrepid, they've got one of these boats. If I want to put it, this system into my boat, what's, it, what's the price difference going to be for me? Right. So there's a number of factors mm -hmm. that affect the cost or the price. Sure. Uh, the quantity of engines, the size of the boat, right. and especially the size of the compressed natural gas tanks on board. Right. Um, so we are debuting a retrofit uh, of the Intrepid 327 uh, where we have about a 40 gallons of gas equivalent okay. system on two Mercuries. Um, that system as it sits retail would be about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Well the gas savings alone is going to be able to catch up that on the life of the boat along with knowing that you're you're not going to have to spend as much on cleaning the engines, maintaining the engines. I mean that's that's a pretty low price point for that. Correct. And if you did have natural gas piped to your own home, mm -hmm. you could fill up your tank on a slow fill situation, mm -hmm. like the electrical car model, yeah. uh, approaching a dollar per gallon of gas equivalent, and never go to a public or private gas dock again. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so it's not just outboards. We can do this on inboards as well, Tim? Yes, sir. Okay, what do you, what, diesels, that's out of the question? That doesn't uh, work? That's our next venture. Okay. <laughs> we might be, uh, I don't want to give a date because you, you can You're be, working on it. We, we're working okay. on it and we're hoping that within one or two years we'll be on diesels too. Now, the diesel is a different animal, yeah. as you know. Uh, there's a lot of big vessels on the water. Yeah. The fuel source for diesel is likely liquid natural gas, okay, okay. which has a lower volumetric requirement on right. the tank side. So basically what you're doing is you're putting in the system, you're putting in the storage tanks on these boats, you have a button that you can convert over and you're good to go. You don't lose the gallonage or the distance that you have on gasoline because mm -hmm. Intrepid kept their 280 gallons worth of gasoline on there yeah, yeah. and we added another 40 and they said they can actually add up to 100 gallon of natural gas and still maintain that 280 gallons of gasoline. That's Guys, a so 600 mile range between yeah. the two fuel yeah. systems. So you're actually increasing more tankage. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, yeah. And, you, and if you happen to have a slow day that you're not going to go more than uh, 100 or 150 miles, you can stay on CNG gas, natural gas, and not even put it in gasoline. So you're running on the cheap fuel the whole time. This is absolutely groundbreaking. This can take the industry by storm. So we want to get more information about this up in the Great Lakes. And if we're not fortunate enough to be able to make it down here, Chris, to the Fort Lauderdale show, tell me where I can go online to get more information about the product and more importantly, how I can get installed on my boat. Absolutely. Uh, right now, just go to www.bluegasmarine.com and we'll hook you up with hopefully a local uh, representative partner that can sell, install, service, and be a point of sale for the fuel okay. in the near future. Yeah. Very good. Hopefully in the Great Lakes. That's yeah. fantastic. Eric, we want you guys up there. Eric, we do not do the installs itself. We license that out to okay. the local service center. Okay, perfect. So, so your, your mechanic that's always worked on your engine, if he's certified on that particular engine yeah. through the manufacturer, we will certify him on our system so you won't have to put up with a, a new mechanic that you don't know. Yeah. You can use your existing mechanic. That's important. Everybody who's got a boat's got a guy. Uh, that's right. <laughs> and you always want to be able that's to go right. to that guy. Okay, you guys, you heard it here first at Great Lakes Scuttlebutt. Make sure you go by bluegasmarine.com. Find out more information. You can contact Chris or Tim. Thank you so much for your time. Guys, this is incredible. It's groundbreaking. It's going to help save our environment as well, so might as well go forward for it. Thanks so much. We'll see you out on the water. Bye.